Hey guys, so today is all about um, just packing up, clearing some stuff out, things I want to bring to my I told my mom I have books that I need to get rid of. So I have two boxes of book, but I think I'm going to pack one more box because I have more books that I've had for at least a year or more. Don't, I don't think I'm going to ever read them. So they're just like clouding up my, like I'm literally having books on the, the, the ledge. And uh, even the books I read this year, I'm like trying to figure out where to put them. So I have two books, two boxes of books so far. So I'm going to get another box and just start doing some more. Now, some of these, I have duplicates. Like I have multiple copies of the same book. Love me, my silly Tyson. I have two copies. Love some Honore. I have two copies of Love Songs with E.B. Uh, W.E.B. The Boy. I don't need all of this just to say I have it I also have uh, the sweetest of water I have two copies of this so this one I had put in the box and this one but I think I'm gonna give because I, I liked these books you know I love just as I am and honor it these were these two books were like my favorite books that I read two years ago they were part of my top 10 and I really love this one as well so I think I'm just going to give these to her, to my friend, um, while I'm packing her stuff and my guts and stuff and just give her these books. Um, she's starting to get into reading last year. I think I gave her Black Cake. She read it. She was joining a book club at her job. I'm trying to get her to do some more reading. If you watch this, yes, girl. Yes. Um, so I think I'm going to give her this. Everything else my mom is going to take to her, her church first have them get first dibs of any of these books that they didn't want to read and then whatever is not whatever no one takes we're just gonna put them on the stoop and anybody can walk by and just take and that's how typically people be doing it in new york where they just take the books put the books on the stoop put a sign that they can take it and people come and i think it's a lot i have that is going to give you a lot of these are non-fiction that i am giving away and so a lot a couple of ya's that i just know um, not happening, not happening. So, um, so I'm going to do that. Let me take these out here and I'm going to get another box and start going through some more and go through my TBR shelf over there. That's been a mess. And then do another round of vacuum in here so I can leave this place spanking good that when I come back. I can do that. So today was also a rough day, guys. I woke up super early for my 7.30 appointment to get my car service and my, my what do you call it, inspection and all that. And these people were like, you pass. But your tires are like, at, it's right there at the, at where it's considered passing. So I'm like, oh yeah. And I live in an area, of course, you guys know I'm in the mountain. It snows a lot here. So I'm like, when they told me the price almost fell out, I did not know that's how much it jumped. It's like a, from the last time I got tires to now, it's like a $300 jump. The price difference was about $300 something dollars. And I'm like, you gotta be kidding me in just a short period of time, the prices. So now I gotta shop around because that, no, <laughs> just no. So that's, that is, um, ooh, sorry. <clears throat> I just leave a bit of taste in my mouth and I was just like what a, what a holiday this is turning out to be this other stuff going on so that we'll probably talk about that in another video but I also want to do some earrings because it was requested and try and be creative but we'll see so let me go get another box and back up I think this is all the books. 
which is not bad. Three, the, the third box is not completely filled. But this, I think, is all the books that I'm going to this round. And then I have a project for the beginning for January with this bookshelf behind me that is going to, which I do every year, take everything down and completely give it a proper clean, dust the books, all that. So I'm going to do that. And while I'm doing that, then do another round of going through books because there's a few books on the shelf. I would say this shelf uh, behind me, I want to say at least 80% of what's on the shelf I've read. Uh, majority, I think, I don't think that much book on the book. Um, I have that many books on this shelf that I didn't read. So I'm going to do another round and go through them. Now, I know a lot of people want to know exactly all the books that I'm giving away. I don't like doing unhaul. So um, just know you've seen these books. Um, and again, these are all books that I have not read at all and have no desire to read. And also duplicates. Again, with the duplicates, I'm going to give that away. Oh, I have duplicates from last, from this year. So the stack that's in the corner over here for this year books that were sending me, of course, I can't give any of those away because I need to read um, as much as possible. And then again, whatever I don't. But I have... Uh, there's two books on there that I have double. So I have the God of Good Looks. I have two copies of this one. So my friend's gonna get this copy and of course, fire rush friend's gonna get this copy so she's getting some she getting some good stuff because i have again i have two copies of this um so i don't need to keep both copies there's just no reason for it so she's gonna get a nice little library for the <laughs> maybe her daughter might want to read some of this um so yeah forgot all about these so i think that's it for now so I'm gonna put these in my car, put this way. I don't have to worry about them when I'm ready to go. So I'm gonna put them in the car now, have them just stay in the car overnight. So much easier to deal with. And uh, then I am going to cook something and um, show you what I plan on working on for the uh, jewelry thing, some earrings. Not making that many because, of course, you guys know I found the stash in the Gucci um, container. And there was some good stuff in there. So, um, but I will just do a few um, that I'm working on. And that will be it. Yeah, so this video is going to be a short one. Let me not say that because I'm still packing. <laughs> packing up books. So... Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hi guys, so I'm back and I was hoping to get some of these earrings done, but guys, I got, I got things to do. Um, and not only that, I don't have enough of this. I thought this was going to be enough to make two earrings. So right now I'm still, I still have to wrap it one more time. So pretty much you see me make these earrings before. So it needs to be wrapped one more time. As you can see, there's, you can still, still see the wood in certain edges. So I have to go around it another time. So it's not going to be enough to make two earrings, which I think this would have been so nice because of the color for the season, but so then I also was working on this one, this wood one, um, but I still have to work on the wiring and um, twist it a little bit. And then I thought about it and I said, it started messing with my nails. <laughs> because when you work with wire, it, you you know, you have to bend and you do sometimes end up with your fingers. and. I need to enjoy these nails for at least one more week <laughs> before 
um i remove it it's a it's it's chipped in certain area but it was it was doing no i i the thumb was going again and and i said it's not like i need it now but ranisha i think it's that's your name i put it here thanks for recommendation that you wanted to see me do some earrings but i would definitely do some more you know another time this now this was a yes and um Let's see. I need some backs. Where's the backs? Hmm. Oh. So I realized the backs on these are supposed to be at a certain temperature it is what it is I have to replace because I was like what the heck yeah all right these are like they're a little dressier to me um so I like these um might not be coming out on camera so much because I can't really tell but yeah so other than that, this is going to be a to be continued session, but I'm a little bit womp womp about this because this is this, um, it is time consuming because just to twirl it over and over until you cover it and it gets a certain thickness, but, um, but yeah, and it would have been perfect, but yeah. Um, so yeah, so let's talk about what. I am planning on reading for the rest of the year um, for sure but I'm, I'm still on the romance kick so I think I'm gonna have to put a romance in the mix of this so I'm gonna say read what Napoleon could not do um, don't know much about it but this is the next book I want to read um, it's one of the ones that were sent to me. It's a debut novel. Don't know much about it, but it is set in Nigeria or Ghana. It's set in Ghana um, and has some kind of immigration story behind it. So we'll do that. Everything else is going to be graphic novel. So this was also sent to me, this country, and I am going to get into this it's a graphic novel and i think this is going to be fun to read when i go to like my favorite um not my favorite but my new coffee spot my new cafe that i found out about when i was in last month so then i want to read saga 10 and also saga 11 showed up i am loving saga 11 cover like look at the back of this this was bad. This was bad. I love this. So I have these three graphic novel and this novel that I want to get into before the end of the year. As of right now, I put my reading goal to 90. I've always do 90 in the last couple of years, but I've always got to 100 books. And this year, um, I'm at 88. So I definitely will get to the 90, but absolutely not going to get to 100 books. Um, and I will, I think I will talk about more of that when I talk about goals and in my goals video. Because I find that this year, I read bigger books this year, but I also wasn't reading as much in a month. Like I was, I mean in the past I averaged so much in a month that it was easy to go over the 100. But this year, I find that I was like four or five books 
um, you know, six six would maybe average during certain time of the year. I've only had one month that I've read so much. Um, but it's I think it's the books I selected. I I I wish again, I don't want to really go into it in this video, but we'll talk about like my reading selection this year in terms of the other books that I picked up and what I was drawn to, which is very interesting when I when I think about it now. But we'll have that discussion in the goals video um where I talk about the year in total and the plan for 2024. So we're about to clean up all this and I'm going to do my um wrap the gifts them in their bags and finish packing and i will see you in the next one all right guys thanks for watching bye